Queenslanders have taken a final look inside the building that's been the centre of power since the days of Sir Joby Occupy Peterson. Former premiers were among those who toured the old executive building in Brisbane for the last time before it makes way for new development. A public goodbye and a behind the scenes look at political history. You are going to be the big man, you're the premier. <laughs> Former premiers and ministers gathered to farewell their old office. Lots and lots of political intrigue, uh, <laughs> some pretty ruthless decisions made. I uh, have a few secrets, but uh, they would be better not shared. <laughs> Opened by Sir Joe Bjorki Peterson in 1971, 100 George Street has hosted nine premiers. The building became a target for anti-Joe sentiment. In 1975, a letter bomb was sent to the former Premier, injuring two mailroom workers. It's possibly the first letter bomb that has been really passed through the post here in Queensland. Mr Shaker, how close did the bomb go off to the Premier's office? Uh, about 30 yards away, 40 yards away. Tickets for farewell tours were snapped up fast. Old and beautiful, and um, it's a shame that it gets knocked down in some respects. Out of the building. Barry Seely was building manager for 26 years, from Sir Joe through to Campbell Newman. I saw divorces, I saw marriages, I saw kids and everything like that. He knows it inside out. If you knock, you can hear the hollow sound. Now that staircase went from the cabinet office here up to on 14. The walls and cupboards are bare now, but many elections have been fought over the keys to this room, the Premier's office. 1,500 people are taking advantage of the last chance to see the seat of power. And even try it out. Beautiful <laughs> and powerful. The government has now settled in just up the road. It lacks its character and it's a bit sterile. 100 George Street will soon make way for the Queen's Wharf development. Casey Briggs, ABC News.